women in history I'd never heard of and wouldn't be surprised if you haven't either. Today, let's talk about Milunka Savits. Milunka Savits was born in 1888 and passed in 1973. She was the first woman to serve in the Serbian army and the most decorated woman in the history of warfare. Not much is known about her early life, but it would appear she had a brother who was sickly. When he was drafted in 1912 for the Balkan Wars, she took his place as you would. As a combatant, Milunka was a force to fear. It's said that she was wounded in battle no less than nine times. All her wounds were treated without her having to undress. Well, all but one. She caught shrapnel in her chest from an enemy grenade. Field doctors, you know what they found. The commanding officer wasn't sure what to do with her. I mean, she kicked ass, but she should be punished for being a woman. But because of her badassery, he couldn't justify punishment. So he offered her a transfer to a nursing division. Standing at stiff attention, she said she would only serve her country as a combatant. The CO said he would consider it and get back to her the next day. Still standing in attention, she said, I'll wait. He was back in an hour with her next assignment. Just one year after the Balkan Wars, World War I came to Serbia, and she kept fighting. Eventually, the Serbians were forced to retreat. Milunka and many others joined the French and kept fighting. In 1917, she proved again why women belong in battle. See, nobody would cross no man's land. It was called No Man's Land because it was a strip of land between the Allied and German forces and considered way too fucking dangerous. No cover and all. Milunka didn't give a shit. She grabbed her grenades and started taking out trenches while she crossed. And single-handedly, she brought 23 Bulgarian soldiers back with her, who were incredibly confused to have been captured by just a girl. After the war, the French offered her a military pension and an apartment. She refused. Serbia was her home. In Serbia, she worked odd jobs and eventually got married. They had one daughter and adopted three more. The marriage ended, but she continued helping orphans. When World War II broke out, Milunka didn't re-enlist. But she did organize an infirmary to care for the wounded. During the German occupation of Serbia, she declined a dinner invite with Serbian and German officials. That pissed off the Germans. They beat her bloody in front of her children. Then they put her in a concentration camp. For ten months, she endured unimaginable conditions. She was meant to be shot. Stories say the only reason she survived was because a German officer recognized her as a war hero and let her go. In later years, Milunka lived in poverty and was mostly forgotten. Then in 1964, the 50th anniversary of World War I, she went to a commemoration ceremony, wearing all her medals. Oh wait, did I mention those? Between Serbia, Russia, France, and Great Britain, she was awarded 12 medals. No other woman before or since has been more decorated. Today, Milunka is a Serbian war hero. In 2013, her body was reinterred in the Alley of the Greats where distinguished Serbian citizens and war heroes are buried. Milunga Savic was fierce, fearless, unparalleled in courage, and nearly erased from history. But each time we speak her name, and others like her, their bravery and memory echo in eternity.